Hey guys, this is Rosa Kelly. So today I'm here with another one hour mini album. This is going to be one hour from start to finish. And all we're gonna need is one piece of 12 by 12 chipboard, some cardstock. I'm using 65 pound craft color cardstock and one 12 by 12 paper pack. Now your paper is going to be double sided and also it has to be cardstock, not just a simple paper. So I'm gonna be using this collection that I had for a while on my stash. And so yeah, let's get right to it. So hi guys, so welcome back to the channel. I am excited to bring a new one hour crafting tutorial. You guys have been asking for this for a long time and I'm excited to have finally a project for you. Um, if you're new to my channel, welcome. Please make sure to subscribe and hit the like and let's get right into making this book. Uh, so I'm going to be using my chipboard here first and I am going to cut two pieces uh, and this is going to be eight and a half by six now the chipboard that i use is medium weight chipboard and i always get questions on which type i use so i will have everything linked below on my amazon store you can find there all my basic craft supplies so for the spine i'm going to be cutting these at eight and a half by three inches and now we are going to go ahead and wrap this up using our craft color cardstock so i'm going to take this out and we are just going to simply uh, join let's see let's do two of these pieces together and i'm going to use my glue now of course you're also going to need some regular crafting tools like your glue your tape and all of that uh, so we're going to place that right there and then i'm going to add my spine okay so we're going to place this one right at the center and then we're going to add these two other pieces and we are going to uh, leave a space in between the chipboard okay so i'm just going to add my glue here and we're going to put this one on one side okay and then we're going to put this one here and so this book is gonna be a little bit more kind of like on the narrow side it's gonna be long and skinny not too skinny but a little bit skinny and there we go okay so we're just gonna press down here and then I am going to cut I found my scissors <laughs> so we are going to cut the corner sections like that and when you do that you want to make sure there is a space between the chipboard and the cardstock so you want a little separation don't cut right against the chipboard here so we're gonna go like that and i'm just taking out some of this extra there and then we're gonna do that and do that okay so now i'm going to add my double-sided tape so we're just gonna add these all around okay so i'm just gonna press down and then go here and everywhere here first and then we're going to start folding along the cardstock so you want to first fold it and then we're going to be taking out the tape here okay so make sure that you press down on your tape and then we're going to start on the long side so you just want to fold 
this down okay so you just want to fold it a little bit each time and then you want to continue pressing this down and then finally we're just gonna press this down all together and remove the tape okay and press press down okay and then we're gonna just press on the bending lines here and then we're going to do the same on the other side just go like that okay and again press press down remove the tape and fold this down here Okay, and then we're gonna press and press. Now, before we press and we fold the side here, you wanna tuck in the corners. And now we're gonna start folding this. Okay, so again, fold slowly and then just start pushing this down like that. And then we're going to remove the tape and press down and then we're going to do this one more time tuck in the corners first and then we are going to fold okay and press down there we go so now just remove the tape and there we go so now we have our base there we go you want to kind of like massage this a little bit okay and open and close and there we go now the next thing that we are going to do is to work on our hinge and for that i am going to work right onto the car stock so let's do this so i'm going to actually use one of these pieces here so i'm gonna pick, pick this one and i'm going to cut this down to eight inches okay so this will be eight by 12 and we are going to score so let's bring this back and we're going to place this on the scoreboard along the 12 inches and we are going to score first at two okay so we're going to score at two and then we're going to score at every um three quarter inch so we're going to score at two and three quarters and then a three and a half, four and a quarter, five, five and three quarters, six and a half, seven and a quarter, eight, eight and three quarters, nine and a half. And I think we need one more at 10 and a quarter. Okay, so we're gonna start at two and then we're going to have four um, hinges. So from two all the way until 10 and a quarter. Okay, so it's really hard to see on this paper here on the back. You can kind of see all the lines. And I'm doing this on my design paper instead of my regular cardstock because i just want to see like a pretty background here you can also just do it on your regular 65 pound cardstock as well but for this book to save time i'm going to be doing the pages and a lot of the things right onto the design paper so we 
kind of avoid all that extra cutting and gluing and so now we are going to start putting together the hinges so what you want to do is just kind of pinch the two three quarter inch sections um, together and just join this like that okay so that's gonna be number one then we're going to skip the next and do the next two okay so there we have two and skip the next and do the next one here okay so now we have three and then again skip and join together so we have four now from the back we're going to be adding some double-sided tape um, here to keep this together so i'm just going to press down right there and remove the tape i'm trying to see if i have my other little tool oh here it is that's a little bit easier uh, on cutting the tape here so we're going to remove the tape and again join these two together okay so now i'm going to do the next section here behind the hinge okay so we're just gonna remove the tape and join together okay so press down and then the next here double sided tape and then we're going to remove and join together press down and there we go remove the tape and join this page together so here we go we have our one two three and four hinges now i'm going to fold this to the other side as well i like this to be very flexible both ways okay so you're gonna just kind of go like that and make sure your pages are gonna be flexible now before we add this to the the, uh, the base we are going to add double-sided tape on both sides of the hinge okay so you want to place it on the outside part of the hinge okay you will see that there's a little space here that don't have the tape and that is actually the area that we're going to keep clear so the pages are not right against the hinge if you hear background noise please forgive <laughs> my cross <laughs> okay so then we are going to add the tape to each one here okay so that and then there and one more okay and i want to say the weight of this design paper that i'm using it's probably about 65 it feels like 65 or maybe even 70 uh, pound cardstock it's not too thick i wouldn't use a hundred and you know 110 pound cardstock for this i would use a uh, pretty decent weight i also wouldn't use a very flimsy cardstock for that okay so now let's go ahead and bring our book and we are going to glue this piece on the spine now you want to center your four hinges within the spine here so you want to just kind of you won't have three quarter inch on the first and the last uh, gusset here okay so you just want to center those and kind of have an equal distance and i'm going to add my glue okay so we're just gonna add 
glue all over the back especially on the edges of the hinges take a little bit of time because I have my <laughs> little tip in there. I'm kind of used to not having that metal tip and getting a large amount of glue uh, but I'm just okay, gonna go all the way around and there we go okay so again you're going to center your hinges within the spine right there like that and then we're just going to press down and try to get all that air out okay so i'm gonna use this one here press down in between all your hinges okay okay and you want to make sure this is dry enough before you start folding your covers okay. so i think that should be fine so now i'm going to go ahead and score along the bending lines here okay so i'm just gonna score and then we're going to fold this okay and I'm going to do the same right here okay so score Oops. you want to match the lines from the top to bottom to know exactly where you're going to score okay. and now we're just going to start folding this like that and there we go okay so now we have our hinges got it look how cute it looks already <laughs> with the color of the design paper now we are going to cut two pieces i'm going to bring back my uh, paper i love these papers here but there's just a lot of the same design <laughs> that's why sometimes it's a little bit hard to work with when the designs repeat so much okay but i'm going to cut two pieces and these are going to be eight and a quarter so i'm actually going to do this like that so these are going to be five and three quarters okay i want this design here by eight and a quarter and same thing here now i want the top okay so eight and a quarter by five and three quarters and we are just going to glue one on each side here That's glue. okay there we go so we have Then we're going to do this other one. Okay, so we're just going to place this one here. There we go so now we have the inside of the book and how cute does this look all right so now we're going to move right into making the pages so for the pages i'm going to go again right uh, onto the design cardstock and i'm going to pick four pages so i'm going to use the same one that we did here and i'm going to use this one too but for this one i'm going to use the black 
and oops, let's see i'm sorry if i keep moving the tripod uh let's see let's do this one here okay so we have the bee and yeah, let's see the flower the flowers there so four so we're gonna use four pieces like that and i'm going to cut these pieces to these are going to be eight and three quarters so let's say right there and these are going to be by 11 so i'll cut this side here okay so eight and three quarters by 11 and now for this one i'm actually gonna cut that side okay so eight and three quarters by 11 two and let's do the next piece here eight and three quarters by 11 And the last one, eight and three quarters by 11. Now we're going to score all of these pieces along the 11 inch side. We're going to score at five and a half. And along the eight and three quarters, we are going to score at half an inch okay and we're going to fold along the score lines here and your half an inch is going to be on the bottom of the page and what we're gonna do is cut one of these so let me actually open this up and we're gonna cut along the line here to make the pocket page okay so i'm gonna cut along the half an inch line only on half okay so then we're gonna go like that and we want to add glue on this little piece and then we're going to close this okay so that's gonna be our first page and this is going to be now open on the top and open on the side but this side is going to go onto the hinge okay and the pocket will be along the top now again the half an inch is going to go on the bottom of the page so if you have a, a paper that has direction you want to make sure to keep that in line and then we're going to score at five and a half along the 11 inch side okay and then again we're going to cut along one of the lines okay and it doesn't matter which one as long as you just cut one and then we're gonna go like that then we're going to fold this half an inch and add our glue okay so now we have page number two and we're just going to continue doing the same here so this will be page number three so place it like that half an inch and we're going to score at five and a half And then we're going to cut along the line here and we're going to go like at an angle there and add the glue okay now close this 
and let's do the same one more time so i think one let's see which one do we want i was thinking doing that but i think i'm gonna do the back uh, let's score again at five and a half and at half an inch okay and then we're going to fold and we are going to cut and close the page so there we go so we have our four pages already we have one two three and four and we are going to be adding these to our book now you might say let me actually make sure i have the right um correction here okay so that here let's up make sure that your closure is along the bottom there okay so that and then this okay now before we continue adding these pages onto our book we're going to be adding some layouts because we always like adding flaps and things like that and so i'm going to just pick a couple of these Designs, um, maybe. Oh, I definitely want to do. Let's see the one with the girl. Like that, and I think maybe one more of these pages there. Okay, so I'm going to start with this one, and I'm going to go ahead and cut this also at eight and a quarter um, there we go i'm actually gonna cut it at eight just a little bit smaller and for this first one i am going to create kind of like an accordion fold so i'm going to score this at five and i'm going to place it on this side actually so we're going to score at five and at ten Okay, and then I'm going to fold along the line and fold along the line here. So we're going to bring the page, one of our pages here, and I'm going to add this long or smaller section onto the inside. Okay, so this will be the opening where it's going to go in the hinge. But before we put it in the hinge, you want to go ahead and glue that there. So I'm going to add the glue right here. Okay, so make sure that you don't close that opening for the hinge. Okay, so I'm just going to add the glue on the front here that's going to be facing the back of this Okay, so that's gonna go right there, like that. Okay, and now we still have that opening, and now we have our accordion folds page here. And now this is still is going to go onto the page. Now for the top here, I want to kind of do the same. Um, so I'm going to use another one of my pages, and I want this page to be center so we are going to be cutting these i'm going to cut this at eight and i'm going to try to center these um, here at five and a half okay so i got a little bit there and here okay so this is going to be five and a half by eight now normally for any other page what i will do is score a half an inch here and join this in there oh maybe i'm gonna make it a little bit smaller. five and a quarter okay um 
but because i don't want to take away any of this design i'm just going to use one of my other pages here and just do a one one little piece to kind of connect that page so this is going to be about one and a half by five and a quarter and i'm going to score at half an inch there okay and then i'm going to add this to the back right there okay so and i'm only doing this because for the design on this page i don't want to score half an inch along the top i just want to keep the whole image okay press down and now this addition part that i added it's going to go along the top, okay? And I'm also gonna glue it on the back. You could glue it on the front if you wanted to, but I just don't wanna see that, so I'm gonna put that on the back there. And now I'm thinking I should have used this paper so we don't have that white. Uh, I'm gonna do that, actually. Okay, so I don't see that. Looks a little bit too different, <laughs> so I'm going to do the same here and then five and a quarter and score that half an inch okay so i'm just gonna glue that back there okay So I'm just gluing the half an inch piece right on the back. And okay, so back to this. So again, if you were to cut a longer piece, let's say an eight and a half or a nine inch, then all you're going to do is score and fold on the back. Um, and then this back piece here, we can put on the inside of the page so i'm just gonna glue it along the top on the inside okay and you could put it on top of the page like this too if it's a lot easier that way okay i just don't want to see that so when i work with straight onto the sign paper you know those are just little changes that i do so visually it looks nice but if you were working straight onto or with your um, craft color cardstock, then it doesn't matter, right? You can just glue it and then add the paper on top. But there we go. So this is going to be our front page. It's gonna open up like that. And then this is going to be our back page and it's gonna open up like that. So now this one is ready to go. So I'm going to bring back my book and here this is the section that is going to go in my hinge okay so we're going to take out the double-sided tape i'm going to open up the the part of the first base page that we did and we're going to insert and we're going to place this right on top of the tape. Okay, leaving that other section clear. Okay, so now I'm just going to remove that. And then on the back, we're going to just remove the tape. There. Okay, so there we go. So now we have the pocket is going to go on the top i usually don't use the pockets on the pocket pages um, but if you needed extra room or you want to add some tags you can do that and then this is going to open and this is the back super cute to love this paper okay so now we're gonna work on the next page and not all of these have to have a layout so it's up to you but i think for this one i'm actually going to use um, some of these uh, scrap pieces 
and we are going to score so i'm going to score this at four and at eight and just create like a zigzag page like that press down and then this can be added right on the center of the page and let me use some some twine here to tie that okay so i'm just gonna put this on the back okay so let's see I'll put that here i'm going to add tape okay so that's gonna go on the back Oops. holding this and that. okay so press press and that will go right there so i'm going to take out the tape and add my glue here and i'm actually adding the glue in the cord too okay And that's gonna go right on the center and then we can go ahead and tie these let's just try to do a bow <laughs> all right so something like that press and press okay so maybe i'll cut this one up there we go so that's gonna be that and now for the back here i love how that looks but we can also add another opening inside so i'm actually gonna pick something another paper let's pick let's see let's do i think i already used this see what i mean like these pages repeat a lot but there's you know there's not a lot of options in terms of the design of the page so this one here i guess i could add another top opening page okay so let's cut these at again five and a quarter for the back and now this time i'm just going to cut this at eight and a half i'm actually going to do nine okay and score at one inch okay so we're going to score at one inch here and then fold and we can add this one on the back again i'm gonna put it on the inside of the pocket page like that so that way you don't see that and then this is going to open up okay so add the glue here and put this up there okay so just a quick and easy process for this book this will make a really cute gift idea like a last minute gift idea if you must and then we're going to add this next page okay so that's gonna go right on top of that tape okay so press down and go press it I made it a little bit crooked so i'm gonna put it again there we go and then remove the tape here okay i'm just gonna go ahead and add oh i can okay i was gonna add glue just in case but it seems to be fine and then here on the back we're just going to remove that okay so 
beautiful love how this looks and this can also be like a floating page since we don't have any magnets it almost feels like a whole other page there we have that and then we have the opening now let's work on the next one which i think it was this one so for this page i have the matching the matching set so we're gonna do the same that we did on the first one i'm gonna cut this at eight and a quarter and i'm going to score here so we are going to score at five and a half and add 11 and then fold and fold there okay and then i'm going to put this one on the inside of the page oh this actually needs to be eight inches okay instead of eight and a quarter move this out uh, so we're gonna do eight okay and the reason for that is because when we add it into the page that's folded you don't want to be on the folding line there. Oops. okay so that's gonna go there i'm going to go ahead and add the glue okay so we have that let's go ahead and put this right there okay so press down and there we go so now this is going to open and open and then for the back i'm actually going to use the leftover and create a pocket uh, we have a lot of leftovers here so i'm going to use the same design let me see shall we use a different one maybe i'll use a different design okay and then so for this i'm going to cut this at six and a half okay. and then this measures about four inches so we're just going to score a half an inch okay on each side here half 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 and then you want to cut the corners to make the pockets okay so you're cutting right where the lines meet oh my goodness these girls are i don't know if they're playing volleyball or karate i don't know because they're just i don't know if you guys can hear but they're just screaming <laughs> all right that's gonna go back here let's go ahead and add the glue and the glue there okay just gonna put this down press press and done with this page super super quick let's bring our book back and again peel off the tape Okay, so I'll take this out and then we're going to add not this here but make sure that you are holding the right place the one that has kind of like this L shape pocket okay and we're gonna put this on top of the tape okay and then on the back we're just going to remove the tape there okay so now this page here will open up and open like that and then the back will have this cute little pocket and then for the next one we have these and i think i'm just gonna add that and then add some layouts on top using our scraps Okay, so we have this oh actually no i wanted to use this here. i like how these too much 
Uh, so maybe for the back, I can use this. Maybe this one. Let's do this. Uh, okay, so this one is just going to go on top. So I'm going to add it anyway. So let's just go ahead and add it since we're here. Okay, so let's add this. This is supposed to be the easiest one, but it's <laughs> slippery. Okay, so let's do that. Remove the tape. And then take the tape off the back. Okay, now this one is already done. I love how this looks, but since I have this piece left over, we can probably add that there. Let me see if I have another one. A little dark for the next to be next to it. I love how this looks. Maybe I'll do the same one. Okay, so that one was the one with the gate. Oh, this one too. I'm gonna do this here. This one will match. Let's see. Because I haven't used these little birds, they're so pretty. Okay. So let's do, let's do the top flap. Let's see, what do I want to do? Yeah, let's do that. So I'm going to cut this at nine by five and a quarter. Okay, and score at one. Okay, along the nine inches, we're gonna score at one folds along the score lines and then we are going to add and this is optional i mean i think this looks perfect like that but we're gonna add this along the top here on now because we already added the hinge what we're gonna do is kind of go and cut this let's see if that help us there okay so now that can go right there and I do need to add the glue glue here okay so I'm just gonna put that inside the pocket facing up okay so there we go and we still have all those pockets along the top so let's do a quick walkthrough of what we just did so we have the inside cover this opens up we have the pocket on the top the next page is the accordion folds i love that and then we have the cute little piece here now the back opens up these expands this is an accordion folds and the back has a pocket and then this one is playing. And then here we have the opening section. I think this actually turned out really cute. Uh, another thing that we could do if you wanted to was to cut a half circle on the top. So you know those are pockets. If you wanted to add like little um, like tags, you can kind of do that as well. Okay, so now let's actually move on and decorate the cover. Um, I have ideas for the cover because uh, what I love about this collection. <laughs> oh, there was another design. I mean, look how much paper we have left. So you can easily make three of these books with, uh, with the technique that we just did. Okay, I want to add this little girl here on the on the cover so we're just gonna <coughs> cut this and then we have all these stacks to add to our pocket as well <coughs> okay so we're gonna do this and if you've been crafting for a while you know <coughs> this collection was really popular back back in my day <laughs> Every time I tell a story, the kids always say, back in my day, uh, but literally back in my day, when I started crafting, this collection was 
also in the men. So you see, we can put this tax there. And the collection is called Tales of Us by Prima. Okay, so I really want to take this little girl. Let's see here. And, and I'm going to use maybe this and just create a cute little collage. And then for the background paper, I want to use what I have. So this is going to be eight and a quarter by five and three quarters. Okay. And then we're going to put this oops, along the front of the book right there. Now, what I want to do just for the cover is to kind of distress the paper. So I'm going to go and rough the edges a little bit. Okay, so just like this. And go all the way. And I know I have a little distress, little wheel, but you know, by the time I find it, I'm already done with this. Okay, so we're gonna put this one on the front. And another thing that helps when you are making these fast <laughs> projects is fast decisions, right? Because sometimes I just stare at the paper for a long time, but I go with the state of mind that, you know, it's all gonna work out and it's all gonna be beautiful and I don't have to think about it uh, for you know 10 minutes <laughs> before I cut each paper which happens to me a lot for other projects uh, I just look at the paper and be like what is the best way and I come up with nothing most of the time but I just stare at pages of it okay so I'm going to use these <laughs> here as a little frame for that little girl maybe and then I'm gonna use this for the back okay so let's use this so we're gonna do this again eight and a quarter by five and three quarters okay and then that is going to go back here and I'm also going to distress. And I'm just having a vision of putting maybe like black and white pictures on this book. I don't know. It just has a little bit of like that antique look. You know? And I love how black and white pictures um, print. You know, like modern day, uh, like today's pictures on black and white. It just looks so elegant. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and add this here. Okay, so when you do the distress, don't glue too close to the edges. That way you can let the paper kind of look like it's coming out of the page a little bit. Okay, so that is that. Look at this. Love the distress on the side. And then I'm just going to do the spine, which I guess I would use one of these scraps. I like that one. Let's see what else we have. This one. Mm -hmm. I don't like that the gate is sideways. So I'm just going to use this here. And then, oh, we also have this one. Put the, um, let's see. Let me, let me do. Oh, I think I like that one. Okay, so I'm going to do that instead. Uh, let's cut this at eight and a quarter. And this is going to be by two and three quarters.
Now for the cover, I went ahead and also distressed all of these pieces here. And I like this little bit from my scraps because I like that flower there. And I'm going to be gluing this down to the page. But also, I want to use some chipboard to create a little bit of volume on the cover uh, or to add some volume. So I'm just going to add the chipboard here and add some glue and then we're just gonna put this one on the back right there okay and then i'm just gonna go ahead and glue this down okay so that's gonna go right there okay so press down and then we're going to add the other little pieces like I want to add that so we're gonna add glue here okay actually move this to the side okay and then I want to have a little bit of those flowers kind of peeking here on the side oh maybe I'll put this one on the back let's see if I can still take it out okay yeah I think I like that more so I'm just gonna glue it like this there and then I'm going to add just another piece of chipboard for the back of this little girl right there so let's add this right here Okay, press down and then we're going to add that girl and then of course if you want you can add flowers and just embellish your cover a little bit more but I'm just showing you a quick and easy example on how we can make a mini album from start to finish in one hour I really hope that you guys enjoy this tutorial let's look at it one more time love the cover um, so we have flaps and I do have a lot of scraps a lot of scraps here like all these long pieces and you as you saw I have a whole lot of paper as well but you can make more of these little pieces if you want it and add you know throughout the pages as well so we're gonna have lots of room for pictures on this book we have the pocket on the top we have the accordion fold another flap another accordion fold uh, another little pocket and the pocket on the back uh, you can add another one of those little accordion booklets and this that other piece that opens up again place for a picture there you can even use your scraps to do a little collage before you add your picture and i hope you guys enjoy this one hour tutorial let me know if you tried it for yourself let me know if you want to see more videos like this i want to thank you so much for watching and i'll see you on the next one bye bye